Hey everybody, welcome to Slow Riders Motovlog. It's been six months now since I've had the 2024 Honda Ruckus. So we're going to do a six months ownership review, go over the pros and cons, and take it for a ride. All right guys, sit back, relax. Slow Riders Motovlog Ruckus review is about to begin. All right guys, so this is the 2024 Honda Ruckus. I chose the uh, all black. So as far as modifications I've done, it's been just on the lower seat frame here. Um, I would highly suggest the uh, lower seat frame, especially if you're a little taller rider. Uh, you know, it allows you to sit back a little farther little more comfortable ride I think but I mean that's just a personal uh, choice and opinion and I also ordered these custom ruckus uh, foot uh, highway pegs or foot rests I did a uh, unboxing and an installation review on these and only other things just you know added features I've put in the phone mount and this handy little bag by Chase Harper. And you get this off of Amazon for like 25 bucks. So yeah, it's been a good little bike. Um, I've owned a uh, Honda Ruckus in the past. It's everything you can imagine from a 50cc scooter it's durable it's easy to work on um, everything is very accessible um, oil changes are simple uh, from putting air in the tires is simple it's just a very accessible easy bike to work on speed wise um, it averages between 40 41 42 43 i haven't had it past 43 but it's a 50 cc scooter so i mean that's what it's supposed to do and just you know you just have two simple keys easy start up everything is very easy just accessible you got your blinkers High beams, got your little horn, not over here. Got your speed meter there, do tack, the tachometer, your gas. And that's a high beam indicator there. Now guys, you just put your key in there like that and turn it. And there's your gas. Simple as that. Very easy to maintain, very easy to use. Again guys, I, in the past I've owned a Honda Ruckus. And um, the day I got rid of it when I was upgrading to the Monkey and, and to the ADV, I said, well, you know what, I'm not going to need this anymore. Yes, you do. I have the uh, Yamaha X-Max 300 and and i always cannot wait to get on this little thing and roll it's great for backcountry roads it's great to go around town 
Um, it's definitely a conversational piece. People always stop and say, man, what is that? That thing looks cool. Um, yes, it's so much fun. I highly recommend this bike. For anyone that's just looking for a little 50cc uh, bike to get started, it's easy to handle. It's low to the ground. Um, it's not intimidating at all by any means. And it's just a great little starter bike if you're thinking about wanting to get a little bike to, to, to commute to work or just to have some fun on the weekends and you're just starting out. The Honda Ruckus is definitely the thing, the bike for you. All right, so what I like to do next is I like to get my gear on. Um, we're going to hit the road. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the bike. And um, just kind of let you listen to the motor and just how how it performs, how it handles. Um, you'll be getting a POV uh, shot of what what I'm seeing, so you can kind of get a feel of how it turns and how it rides. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got the ruckus out. We're gonna make a loop. And kind of show you what what this thing is all about and hopefully we can help you decide if you want a uh, ruckus or not so one thing about this thing it's very agile it's very smooth very light you can whip this thing around It's not intimidating at all, so it's great for great for a beginner rider because the last thing you want to do getting on a bike or a scooter or anything is having fear. And if this has got to be your starter bike, so be it because the last thing you want to do is is start out and crash. So. So I actually started out on the Ruckus back in 2020. That was my first ride ever. And at no point was I ever intimidated or afraid. And that's just because of how light it is and how low to the ground it is. So it's very smooth. Sticker price on these things are about $2,800 and you know you're always going to have tax and, and fees so I think I got it out the door at like 32 It's just depending on what state you're in. But these little ruckuses are built so tough and you got a Honda motor in here so if you're thinking about just getting a scooter a little 50 cc scooter at one of these little shops for seven eight hundred dollars well you know what they're gonna go 24 24 25 miles an hour and you're gonna get what you pay for as you can see look just just whip this thing around look at how good it goes into turns And the ride is comfortable. The, the ride is very smooth, very comfortable. As you can see, we're just cruising along here, 36, 37. It's pretty windy outside. Oh, I hate that bump. But yeah, just um, an all around good, affordable little scoot. If I had any cons about it, it would probably be the storage. I mean, I mean there are options like I got the little bag out front and you can buy underneath seat bag. 
but other than that I mean there's too much not too much to complain about a lot of people get these things and say well it's slow well it's a 50 cc scooter it's not gonna be it's not gonna go 60 miles an hour you should have realized that when you bought it you bought a 50 cc scooter just to go around have a little bit of fun whip that thing around out in the country road ride through the city it's perfect takes a gallon and a half of gas it's gonna cost you four or five bucks to ride 90 miles if you don't live too far from work and you don't have to get any any on any main thoroughfares this thing is perfect with the price of gas and the price of vehicles that nowadays I mean I'm surprised a lot more people are not buying these little mini motos to get around And I have a bigger bike. I have the 300cc um, Yamaha X Max. And I love it. But this thing is so much fun. I love getting this thing out and riding. So I would say if you're on the fence about buying a scoot the ruckus I would go ahead and do it you're not going to be disappointed if you know what you're getting if you know that it's going to go 40 45 well it won't go I don't know if you might get up to 45 if you put you know a little do some tweaks to it but if you know what you're going into you know what the speed is going to be and you know what you want out of it you're not going to be disappointed in this thing at all look how easy it is to ride And nothing's changed about it over all these years. It's stayed the same body style, same the body frame. So easy to work on and maintain, and it's ridiculous. Oil change is less than 20 bucks because it has no oil filter. It has an oil screen, which you just clean out when you change the oil. So I would say a oil changer on this thing would be like 12 bucks. Whatever the cost of one uh, quart of oil is. It's basically what you're paying for. There's a lot of mods you can do to these things. There's a lot of aftermarket stuff that you can do. You know, I got the footrest, the lower seat frame. You can stretch these things out. You can put bigger motors in them. I mean, I wouldn't rec recommend that until after the... Um, the Honda warranty is uh, up in one year because once you start messing with stuff like that it's just going to kill the warranty but if you put like a lower seat frame and stuff like that on that's not going to do anything you know right now we're going uphill at a rapid pace of 32 miles an hour but this is a 25 mile an hour road so we're still good But this thing is a lot of fun in the summer in the spring nice day out and you want to get out in the back road you want to ride through the city there's nothing like it if you want to go a step up you know you could go for the $1,800 Navi which is in is insanely cheap for a 110 cc scooter which I owned as well and that thing will get uh, up to about I think I had it up like 53 54 which isn't bad roadkill we're not getting a lot of speed out of today is because um, I don't know if you can hear the wind noise or not 
hopefully not but the winds are coming out of the north at 10 to 20 miles an hour and we really can't get this thing up because we're running against the wind Let's see if we can get it going down this hill a little bit. In 36, 37, 38, 39. Forty. Forty-one. And the wind hit us. And like I say, this mine hasn't even mine hasn't even hit 600 miles, so it's not even really broken yet. I feel like once I get past that 600, between that 600 and 1,000 mile range, um, I'll definitely get another two miles an hour out of it. So I'm I think it's going to max out at like 44, 45. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Just just whip this thing around. All right, guys, so I hope this video helped you out and help you decide if you need to, uh, you want to purchase the old ruck or not. So I would say if you're on the fence about it, I'd go ahead and pull the trigger. And remember, guys, like, subscribe, comment below. If you enjoyed the video, share it. And until next time, Slow Riders Motovlog Ruckus Review is out of here.